guys, it's Wendy here. So I had to call it a night the other night. It was getting dark and it seemed like everything that could go wrong was going wrong. Um, one of the batteries died on the cordless drill and then I got a drill bit stuck in the wood. Uh, so that took a while to get that out and then my cell phone battery died. It was like one thing after another. One of the pins out of the hinge, I tapped it out and it was disappeared. I didn't know where it went and it was literally stuck in the wall in a crevice. I did get the door on the hinges and put up enough where I could close the door. It is November and while it was super nice out yesterday, um, it's cold today. So I got the door on and I was able to close it. Um, I had to adjust one of the hinges down almost an eighth of an inch. It's like very little wiggle room, but because my router skills are far from perfect, I had wiggle room already in the cut. So I was able to adjust that and the top and the bottom ones were fine. Unfortunately, even though this is level, this side does not appear to be level. And, which will be okay, except that these latch plates are not lining up like they should. So I'm gonna have to finagle with that. Um, I still have to do painting, because it just has primer on it. And I have to put on the uh, molding, the exterior molding. So that's what I'm working on today. So what I'm doing now is leveling and putting in shims. You can see down here is where I had that huge gap. So I put some PVC board and then I filled in a little crack. No little critters getting in there. Dang it. up that mouse hole and getting rid of all the rot all the wood rot this is the one that was defective when it came so I'm just gonna put some silicone caulking in there fill that in you can't even notice it though honestly I mean it's a garage door on the side of the house no one ever sees but I'm happy with it it's just it's a lot of work Gorgeous day, so I got my painting done. I'm using a Dynaflex white exterior sealant. It's supposed to be 100% waterproof. So I'm going to put this in here. And 
thing I do is I like to use Windex just to keep my finger clean when I'm doing this stuff. This is the one that was cut wrong, so I'm putting a little extra underneath there. If you release your gun um, after you're done using it, it stops the pressure so you don't have caulking coming out the end or silicone. Or Another good thing you can do is just take some painter's tape and wrap the end, and that keeps, keeps it fresh for next time, so you don't waste any of this. Show everybody how pretty you are, huh? Can you sit? It's easy. Can you sit? <laughs> So the door jam is done. I got it painted and sealed, and we have the trim in, so we should be good to go. The next thing I'll be doing is the frame for the exterior. Hey guys, so I took a break from the exterior door jam and frame job, and I went to Equine Affair with my daughter, and it rained, so that's why this is all covered with plastic. So today I'm going to work on finishing this job up um, I need to cut the frame for the door. I've already shimmed it out, but we're gonna finish this up. So you can see better from the inside here that this door is all shimmed in and leveled on both sides. So with that said, it now shuts nicely and locks nicely, which is a blessing. So what I need to do now is cut the trim to length. And this is the trim kit I got. So just a couple inches greater than the height and width of the door. So I'm going to cut the header and the sides using the old pieces as a guide. I'm using this window and door minimal expanding foam. This is what you should put around the door and what was not around the door when I took it out. So we're gonna fill in all these crevices. The temperature has to be at least 41 degrees when you use this. Fill your openings with some paper towels or something so that you don't get foam in those latch plates. I'm all but done. I put some blue tape here to mark where all the screws are so that when I attach this trim, I don't put the nail in the same place. Um, so now I'm going to put some caulk along the edges there and fill in that gap. And then I'll put the last piece of trim up. Again. Are you micromanaging? 
Okay, last nail. That wraps up this video. This is my jam and it's been replaced. And that was a that was a big project. It was a good learning experience. I'll flip it around, you can take a look here. So if I had to do it over again, depending on the price, I would buy the whole thing intact out of the store. Um, I already had those smaller pieces, that door jam, uh, but it was four and nine sixteenths and I needed the six and nine sixteenths. So I ended up putting the whole thing together and I saved a bunch of money. So it was worth it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.